What's going on everybody? Slang Dutchman here. And today, we're with a subscriber's car that reached out to me. He needed some help. He's in the Discord as well, so, uh, you know. Come drift. Come join us in the Discord. There's always advice there. He wanted to install, let me show you guys. He wanted to install a short shifter, this one. Uh, I have installed a short shifter in the past, one of my videos, which was a different model. So I thought it was a good opportunity to uh, make a video about this one. Now this one is just clamped uh, to the bottom side and just clamped to the chassis, which is somewhat easier to install as the other one that I had. Because I had the one, let me show you, is there any visual here? I got a light. Also working on a lift, this, I, I could still, um, yes, so that thing the original one comes out and then you pop the new one in put a circ clip uh, on the bottom of it and then um, that's basically it you put the arm in with this we're gonna basically take it out and delete that whole arm that you see we're gonna keep the bottom one but delete the top one i believe it worked and then you're gonna put the nuts and screws in that black black circle there or take the rubber out but in that location so let's uh, start tearing it up from the inside, I think we start. There is one little clip like this. That's like this. That's on there sideways. You need to slip that one off and then you can undo the bottom shifter linkage. Uh, also what we did is we took the diff out and we placed new polyurethane bushes in it. Also, he has broken some drive shaft bolts, so we put a few new ones in there. Uh, so it should be two wheel drive again and be able to do a skate. So let's strip the top side of this. Now, usually BMWs, oh, it's even tied on there. Wow, did not expect that. <laughs> Lop that one off. This one should come off. Then there's a rubber seal that comes out and then there's this big rubber one come on <laughs> get out of there what we do is that in theory there's a little ring there that you can just Get some pliers twist and turn like a quarter degrees and then it comes out for me that never has success and since you're replacing this thing with another one uh, i just take a screwdriver put it in between the little tabs and just whack it with a hammer to give it a little tap and it breaks off so now you can see there are no little tabs there anymore and if i now pull on the shifter it's coming out but the linkage underneath i did the clip that's off but the linkage is still in but now we can do everything from underneath take everything off and then uh, try and see how the new one fits took the assembly out and put the ring in uh, how it works is basically you put a ring underneath and it's just gonna be uh, squashed against the metal so it's clamping it in let me put myself in position here There we see it. So we're gonna put this over that and it's gonna clamp that edge. Basically, this edge. It's gonna clamp. And it will stay on and then we put the other shifter in. Put the circ clip in and put the bottom arm in. The top arm also, sorry, I forgot. We were just in the flow of things. It's been uh, pushed in there so you need to push it forward to get it out now how it's been sitting on the gearbox let me show you guys there's like this shifter arm it's like this in the car and then there is a pin that's through there and as you can see this is mounted on the edge of our gearbox so you need to like fold it open with a little screwdriver uh, and then you can remove it. And then when you pull that one out, that one just slides out. So that's fairly easy and straightforward. 
So let me uh, let me just tighten these four with a plate in the middle and then uh, pick up the camera because I cannot find a good angle for the camera for you to see things and for me to do things because my hands need to be there. So, we put the shifter through and then there's a little circlip which is always a bit to put in. Uh, I didn't even use the pliers this time, I just take two flathead screwdrivers and because it's uh, tapered, uh, it just if you push it up it just falls into the groove uh, if a body inside the car holds the shifter up. So then we put the linkage through, put the clip on, which is, uh, I think this install is easier as mine, because mine had that little clip that needs to go around and there's basically no room to put a plier, some pliers here to uh, to work with that. But let's, um, let's see how it works. So shifter is in, you know, feels nice and short, nice and nudgy. Love it. Also the looks nice, big and bulky. It's a good look. Let's uh, let's see how the test drive is. So we noticed that he has these fancy wheel studs. Unfortunately, one has broken off. So we're now gonna take the brake caliper off because we have plenty of time. Because did I say working on a lift is like the best thing ever? So easy to get through everything. Um, so the plan now is to take the caliper off so we can take the brake disc off and then hopefully we're able to reach there and, and, and take it out and then we can just replace it with our normal wheel stud. Um, simple maintenance things. And also he's learning about maintenance on the car and working on a car because he had little to none experience and he was like, can you help me? I want to do it somewhat myself and I still want to learn. So that's what we're doing. It's, yep. not, it's not rocket science. End no. of the day, you're just too scared of it most of the time. Like, oh, it's it's, it's intimidating. But then it's just nuts and bolts, left and loosey, righty tidy. So we've taken everything out, and we noticed uh, we were able to grab. As you can see, we have a little bit of room here at the back. We were able to grab this with some pliers, and luckily it had no resistance, and we can just take them out. But we noticed that a few of these we were able to basically spin by hand. So. We took them out, put some Loctite on them, put them back in. There was some stuff in them, but maybe it filled over the time. So we put some nice red Loctite in them. Um, how you get these off, you may ask. Very simple trick. You put a nut on. You take another one. And that then locks it. And if you take the first one, you can then, if the body locks it for you, you can then undo the whole thing. And if you want to tighten, same process, but then you tighten on the first one. And then it should come off fairly easy. And also, if you mark, want to make your life easier, take that one off. Put your spanner on if it's a ratchet spanner. Almost there. There we go. And it's out. Now I just put this in the vise and then undo the other one. Um The footage is better if you have a cameraman. That one's out. Now we can take the spanner off. Now there was some residue on there, but I want it to be extra tight, so I'm not cleaning them extra. Just gonna put some Loctite on. Also, this one looks really clean compared to the others. So, it's a good thing we did this. And then, put the nut on there. 
we can do the same thing in reverse. But because we cannot fit our agadaga on there, and then tighten by hand so you know how much pressure is on there. Now he's just gonna drive home because I didn't have a spare uh, lug nut to put in. So he's gonna drive home in four, but you know, uh, don't go crazy aggressive on it. You'll be fine. The Civic has four stats as well. So it's basically a Civic now, rear wheel drive. And then, of course, he needs to replace these as soon as he gets home. Or at least get original lug nut and just put it in because it's the same thread pitch. It just all works. All right, so basically we put everything back on. So lighting of the video is not picking up much. Just roll the car outside. We did everything basically. Just gonna take for a quick, quick test drive. So basically the car just works. Um, shifting, like we said, is a little bit getting used to. Uh, first time with the short shifter. And also at the bottom you had that adjustment. It might be not completely where it sits best, so we can just still undo that and then adjust it from the top here. You just screw the whole shifter and it just comes up and down. So that's um, well a problem for another day. We raised the front suspension by like one and a half centimeters because he had some troubles with speed bumps and other clearances issues. Um, I'm just uh, we're curious to, to see how he does on track now the next time. Yeah. I think everything else is fixed and other than that it was just a nice day of chilling me uh, still learning by doing stuff like for a second or a third time um, but still you still learn or you figure out ways to do it quicker and you get quicker every time you do it and this time uh, I have Gabriel here to, to learn it was sick and lots of fun and learned a lot yeah man, so if you want to learn, join us in the Discord, you can just join us through the link in the comments or like linked in the, the video description. Um, we do weekly game sessions on Sunday uh, where we play Assetto. So if you like this video, it's a little bit weird, just me in a fully dark just environment. <laughs> that That's better, that's there funny. we go. That's so, straight. Yeah, we go straight. So if you like this video, please smash that like button subscribe if you want to see more and as always see you guys in the next video thanks for watching peace